Coach, thanks for joining us this week. This past weekend against Sacred Heart, really terrific performance by the team all the way around, offense, defense, special teams. You know, what did you see out there that you, that you really took away from the game? Well, it was. It was a thorough game on both sides. Obviously, uh, coming off the Valpo game, we felt we had to improve in a number of areas, addressed them. I thought our coaching staff did a great job, special teams, offense and defense, just tightening some things down. Uh, I mentioned the first game was not as bad as it looked, but it was sloppy and tightening up some of the, the, those issues. And uh, we were pretty clean across the board. Still room for improvement, but it was a nice opening uh, game at home. Your dual quarterback situation just ran to perfection with Derek Kyler completing all 10 of his passes. Nick Howard running for 154 yards, just nine carries. Ivy, Ivy League Offensive Player of the Week. You know, how has that really transformed the team here, you know, going from Gerbino and Kyler to Howard and Kyler? Well, Kevin Daft and the offensive group really do a great job just uh, mixing. And we're fortunate enough that we have two athletes, one, that work well together. So there's no selfishness that, hey, I need more reps. How come I? Uh, they, it's a give-and-take deal, as it was in the uh, previous uh, years as well. Uh, and to have two talented guys. Uh, Nick is a big physical guy. He has speed, sneaky quick. He's running away from defensive backs at 230 pounds. Uh, also physically capable of hitting and uh, absorbing some shots and then picking up extra yards. And then Derek, he's just so savvy back there. Just calm, cool, collected. He's such a settling into influence on the offense. And his completion percentage, he's the number one guy in the country right now. Uh, so it's a nice combination to have, and it's fun to see them work so well together for the success of the team. Now, the defense, don't overlook that because, hey, there are seven sacks out there, a lot of great plays on defense. But the biggest one might have come right in that first drive when Tanner Cross forced the fumble. Nico Mervingus recovered it. Yeah, that, that was crucial. And uh, Tanner, he's been around for a while and just a very heady player uh, and made a nice hit just right on the ball. Ball pops loose and, and uh, Nico p picks it up. So our fifth year guys, uh, that was huge because it was a long drive. They came out, uh, we score, they come right down the field. And emotionally, that's a big stop. And from that point forward, we just played exceptional defense the rest of the afternoon. As you mentioned about shoring up some things from Valpo, the special teams was a concern, and they really performed much better this time around. Cameron Baller with a big punt, pinning Sacred Downhound at the four. Jamal Cooney, three big returns as well. Yeah, we, uh, all aspects of the game. We protected the punter well. Uh, Josh Green was, was spot on with the snaps. Uh, the punt that uh, went out on the three-yard line was huge in terms of field position swing. Uh, Cam Baller, a, a dual kicker for us right now. He's kicking PAT field goals and punting. Uh, did a nice job. Misfired on the first one and then solid from that point. Our, our coverage teams did a great job. Cam kicked the ball out of the end zone most of the afternoon. And then the return game, uh, Jamal Cooney just really lit it up. Yeah, it was fun to see. A little guy with great courage and great hands. Uh, and uh, Sam McCorkle does a great job schooling our guys and uh, blocking appropriately on our returns. You know, the, 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 you're apt to grab and hold people as they try to escape. We did a call for a holding, but uh, outside of that, you know, three big uh, returns for 40 plus yards in each one. Yeah, it was a special day for us. And a quick thought just about playing in front of the Memorial Field fans once again. You know, you had a big student turnout here, got a really raucous crowd out in that field. And how does that help your team? Yeah, playing at home was uh, the guys were so excited. We haven't done it for two years. And the, the young guys heard the old guys talk about how special it is. And it was a beautiful day. Uh, the crowd, I think it's the best student turnout we've had in years. Uh, and they were boisterous and they're excited. They saw a good ball game. And it really it made it special. Some of the young guys in particular said, wow, this isn't always like this. So we hope that it will be. But we certainly appreciate all the young classes, the freshmen, the sophomores in particular, coming out for the first time. All right, Sacred Heart is done now, and this week it's a short week, Friday night game on ESPNU at Penn. Always a tough game down there. They're physical, they're tough, and their defense pretty much matches up with yours. Do you expect this to be a defensive struggle, or what do, how do you see this playing out? It's going to be an interesting game. Uh, well, big trip for us, and certainly nice to be on national television with ESPN, so the guys would be excited about it. Uh, they're one-on-one -on -one at this point, but they're a physical team. They're similar to us in many regards, a spread offense, a good quarterback, puts the ball in the money, uh, talented receivers. The flip side, their defensive line is uh, heralded. They've uh, got a couple of guys that can really play an all preseason all-league linebacker and very capable cover guys. I think it's going to be a, a wonderful game and a, a tough one for us, but uh, we play well on the road and looking forward to the opportunity. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on national TV. All righty. Thanks again, Rick.